Hey, it's Matt with McGee Farms, and I was in Harbor Freight the other day, and I ran across these uh, magnetic cup holders that I was thinking might work a little bit on the side-by-sides, or more importantly, the tractors, because half of my tractors don't have cup holders, and when it's hot and I'm out doing a lot of work, it's, you know, it'd be nice to take a Gatorade or a bottle of water with me. So, uh, you know, I got it looking. They're pretty cheap. They come in multiple colors, green, blue, black, and red. And so I picked these up and the idea, walk around, I've got the New Holland 1720 here. Older tractor uh, where it doesn't have a cup holder, but it's been a great tractor for the farm. Recently, we've had to do a lot of maintenance on it. I've got one on there right now. I actually bought that for my 8N. And uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick one there on the side probably going to put another one either here on the loader or towards the front and i got a bottle of water i've got a uh, bottle of gatorade i'm going to pop them in there and i'm getting ready to do about 20 minutes of brush hogging see if uh if they hold on there's not much in the way of the magnets you know, it's just two smaller magnets but we're going to see if they hold if they uh, keep the bottles in there and uh, then I'm also going to try it with the 8N. And also I'm going to grab a couple of uh, like 32 ounce styrofoam cups from the gas station. And going to see how they hold up in there as well. So uh, let's get started. Like I said, I got Gatorade and I got a uh, kind of a nasty looking bottle of water that i uh, been sitting in the trunk of my car for a little while. I'm probably not going to drink it, but I figure, you know, if it falls and busts, I'm... You know, I'm not that worried about it. So let's put them on, let's fire up the tractor and see what happens. All right, so I got my Gatorade right here. Got a bottle of water, a little small for these, but it seems like it fits in. It'll probably bounce around, but you know, with the water, I'm not that worried about, you know, getting shaken up because it's not carbonated. And uh, I think I'm gonna run, bounce around with it about, oh, 10, 15 minutes. And then I'm going to move, uh, move them to a couple other spots on the tractor and see how they do there. So far, we've kind of got some mixed results on it. Uh, I've been brush hogging oh, about 15 minutes, been bouncing around. You know, an older tractor, these... Uh, Bounce you around a little, little bit more than some of the newer ones do. But uh, water bottle with this was a little small. It really bounced around. And uh, a couple of times I straightened it up. You can see it's kind of uh, crooked at an angle. But I think it's from bouncing back and forth. The uh, Gatorade one, I don't know if it's the location or the bottle being a little bigger. But it pretty much just stayed in one spot. It really didn't move. So... Uh, I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna set it over here, and uh, I think I'm gonna move this Gatorade one over here and see if it kind of bounces around as bad as the water bottle did. And uh, I'm gonna hop back on, I'm gonna mow another 10, 15 minutes. Let's see what happens. All right, well, that went pretty quick. I, uh, oh, maybe about a two-minute, three-minute uh, stretch of brush hogging. Gatorade bottle still didn't move. It was pretty much in there. You can see from the video, the uh, water bottle completely fell out. Luckily, I didn't run over it, so I can still use it for testing. But... Uh, yeah, if you had a bigger water bottle, maybe one that fit in there a little better uh, might work. Because it seems like that Gatorade, just being a little bit uh, fatter, and I don't know, maybe it's got a flat base on it, that, uh, yeah, it hasn't moved at all. So uh, I'm going to do just a little more brush hogging around here, and then I'm going to get the 8N out, and I'm going to hook them up on the 8N, and we're going to test that out too. And uh, then probably tomorrow... 
Uh, or if I get a chance later today, I'm going to run up to the gas station, get a couple 32 ounce drinks and pop them in there and try it with this and the 8 in as well. Okay, so I did a little more brush hogging with this and I moved the water bottle over here and it did a little better. It did fall out a couple times, but not as quickly. Uh, kind of think too, maybe if I put a little like bottle koozie in there, it might make a difference. But I'm going to go now from the uh, 1720 New Holland to the oldest piece of equipment we have on the farm. Uh, it's a 1952 Ford Model 8N. Uh, first tractor I ever actually got. My dad got it when I was, oh, I think about 13, 14 years old for me to learn how to use a tractor on because they're wide, they're low, and they're pretty forgiving. Uh, I've recently been restoring this, got quite a bit done, still have quite a ways to go, but we still use it quite a bit. It's probably about to get retired for uh, hay wagons and hay rides and maybe raking hay, but we're going to try it on this. That's why I got this red one in the first place. Now, the problem with this, there's not a whole lot of places on this to put it. The fenders right now, they shake a little bit. But uh, up front here, I think there's a spot we can probably put it on and we'll try it out. I'm going to go do a little, uh, little box blading with this. So uh, let's put it on there and see what happens. All right, now I got one on each side. Uh, more than anything else, I'm a little afraid I'm going to be hitting my knees on them. But uh, I guess I'll be finding out. Uh, this one over here. A little better as far as hitting my knees because my leg does stay back for the pedals on this, but if I'm going to change that, it's in the way. So uh, we're going to fire it up. I got a little blading to do. Let's see what happens. So I tested it on a couple of different spots, mainly the two uh, that I showed you at the beginning. They worked all right, just like with the other tractor, the water bottle kept falling out. Not quite as bad, but uh, it kept bouncing out. Uh, Gatorade bottle never moved, never hit my legs on them, so uh, actually uh, worked pretty good. Those magnets held on okay. Uh, towards the end, I moved the Gatorade over here, and it wobbled a little bit, but it stayed, but it wasn't a long test, maybe five minutes, and I wasn't bouncing that much at that time, so I don't know if I would uh, say, you know, that's that would work like that, but uh, like I said, on on uh, this area here, kind of the dashboard, worked fine. Uh, same with the dashboard on the other tractor. Gatorade bottle did pretty good. Now tomorrow I'm gonna grab some 32 ounce bottles and I'll see if I can find a bigger water bottle to try out as well. So uh, I guess tomorrow we'll see, uh, we'll see the next test. All right, so we've done the test with the Gatorade bottle with the water bottle. But I uh, did want to do one more test. And I ran down to the gas station, got me a soda, polar pop, whatever you want to call it, in a styrofoam cup. And uh, it's about, about half full. I usually don't drink soda. It's the first soda I think I've had in a while. And so I took a sip and yeah, I, I drank probably half of it. I don't drink them that much, but when I do, it, it did taste really good. But it's about half full, soda and ice in there. I've got it mounted and uh, we're gonna fire it up, take a little bit of a uh, drive, do a little brush hog in, uh, maybe get some gravel out of the creek with the loader on the tractor here and see how it does with the uh, styrofoam cup. And then I'm gonna jump on the 8 in and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna hook it on there and see how it does on that. So uh, let's hop on and see what happens. All right, so we're going to rig it up on the 8N, and right off the bat, I see a few issues. Uh, down here, just kind of like a little bit of an angle, so it's not enough that I can really get a good uh, hold with the magnets, plus the shifter is going to be hitting it. I move it up here a little bit, but then the problem to uh, get into is once I get it high enough to where it's really making a connection with the magnets, the steering wheel is going to be in the way. And not necessarily the cup, but the straw. 
And I tried maybe moving it over to the side here. And again, it's kind of getting that. So we're gonna get creative. Hopefully I'm not gonna lose my soda. And try it right here. It's gonna go around the tractor, see if maybe the other side might be. And now I got the air cleaner over here. So it looks like this is gonna be the best spot. The problem is it's, uh, you know, the hood right over the engine. Hopefully that's gonna work. I'm gonna watch it and see, cause like I said, I don't drink soda that much. Mostly uh, iced tea, water. Occasionally, I'm, occasionally an energy drink, maybe one a day, but uh, this is the first Dr. Pepper I've had in a while. So I, don't, I really don't wanna lose it cause it is tasting kinda of good. So we're gonna secure it pretty good on here. We're gonna fire up the tractor, go out, use a box blade, blade a little bit, and uh, hopefully I'm not gonna lose my soda. All right, so the verdict is in and uh, yeah, it works. It's uh, uh, US General, they sell them at Harbor Freight, they're cheap basically where they're uh, rolling toolboxes, they're big metal toolboxes. They have uh, different things like uh, paper towel holders, uh, Kleenex box holders, different tool holders. And uh, just happen to see these, they come in a, in a lot of colors like I showed you earlier. And uh, yeah, it, it works uh, with Gatorade. It definitely works with these 32 ounce styrofoam cups. I had it on the 1720. You know, you've seen the videos, uh, did a lot of brush hogging with it, and Gatorade bottle work, the 32-ounce uh, bottle work, also, you know, with the 8 in here, uh, did a good little bit of, uh, of grading with the box blade, and it bounced around. I was real skeptical putting it on the side, but it really didn't move at all. It's still in the same spot, so uh, definitely, you know, if you got an older tractor, and you got metal on it. I mean, a lot of these newer ones have a lot of the plastic, but if you got metal on it, you don't have a cup holder. These things work, and uh, it's great. Take a beverage along with you. I guess once we get into the coldness of the winter, too, uh, you know, I'll try it out with uh, some of these uh, metal, I don't know what you call them, these like metal tumblers that keep your drink hot or cold for like hours on end. Uh, I guess try one of those with uh, some hot chocolate or... I'm not a coffee drinker, but, uh, you know, my Irish roots will show. I do like uh, a hot tea, so, you know, maybe bring that out. Help keep me warm while I'm out working in the wintertime. We'll see. But anyway, if you enjoyed the video, please consider giving us thumbs up, subscribing to the channel, uh, like the page, share it with your friends, or leave us a comment. We always... Uh, Always try to respond, any questions on there. Always love reading them. And uh, and yeah, I uh, started out just watching to figure out different things for tractors, trucks, ATVs, Jeeps, around the farm and with animals. And just one day figured, you know, hey, I'm doing all this stuff. I might as well make some videos too. So, uh, you know, always uh, just feel blessed with... Uh, the response, the likes, and, and all that, and the views that we get. So any of that helps, lets the channel grow a little bit, and uh, it is really appreciated. Till next time, it's Matt with McGee Farms. Have a great day.